After notching two much needed wins on the road, the Copperheads came back to Bob Wren Stadium to play the Lima Locos, whose early errors had Lima going crazy. With three miscues in the first three innings, the Snakes had chances to strike, and Brian Barnes brought the venom, reaching base in all five at bats. He's made some changes of late. Yeah, I made a few adjustments with my swing. Uh, I think it helped me relax a little bit. Uh, so I'm starting to see the ball a little bit better. So swinging good pitches, taking bad ones. Billy Cribb's two for four evening aided the ailing Copperheads. With injuries to big bats, the team must rely on their pitchers. Luckily, they had another strong showing following a shutout against Xenia. Danny got a spot start tonight. He's also effective out of the bullpen for us, so he's, he's an important part of our team, and we were glad to see that tonight. And then John Pedrada came in right behind him. It was, was tremendous. So, uh, you know, we feel comfortable with our depth, and it's going to be critical in these last two weeks with a lot of games jammed together here. Tonight's starter, Danny Gifford, had no problem being called on to help his team win their third straight. It feels good, you know. I mean, I like uh, the pressure of uh, going out there and, you know, being told to throw a good game, you know, keep our streak of wins going. So, you know, I was feeling confident, you know, so it worked out. Barnes says the team has refocused, which showed when they took more pitches than an ad agency. Make him work, make him get tired, he's going to start throwing balls down the middle and get him out of the game, start getting to your bullpen. So, uh, yeah, just uh, taking the taking the bad pitches and looking for the fastballs. It's mainly the approach that they give it to you, smash it. At 16-10, and 10, the Cheds are still in third place and poised for a playoff spot. Reporting for the Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.